Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to the channel. So, something different today. I want to show you guys how to install mods for Stardew Valley on your Steam Deck. Okay, um, so I have um, followed a few videos in the past of doing this, um, but I found ways to make it easier for myself because I found it can be quite confusing. Um, so I just wanted to make a video for you guys on how to do it. Okay, so here we are on the Steam Deck. I'm sorry I'm having to film like this. I tried to um, dock it um, to OBS on my PC, but when you go into desktop mode on the Steam Deck, it actually was refusing to show up on OBS, and apparently it's something to do with the software. Um, so just bearing that in mind. So, right, you start here from your home screen, your gaming home screen, and you want to come over here and hit your Steam button. Okay, and we want to go down to power. And we want to go to switch to desktop mode. Uh, this one here, as you can see. I know it's going to be quite difficult to see, guys. Um, but I will explain fully. <laughs> okay. So, right. Here we are in desktop mode. Right. So, the first thing you want to do when you go over here is you want to head to Google. Okay. Here we are. Google. Okay. And you're going to want to search for smappy okay so here we go smappy on google here you go it will be first result that pops up should be right and you want to download the most recent version now i remember um recommend downloading here from nexus mods okay uh, because this is where you can download this is where you go to download all the mods for um stardew valley there are also other games you can do, but I haven't personally looked, so I'm not sure. But you just need to make an account. It's completely free. Um, and then when you've made an account, you come down here and you've got these little bits here that say description, files, images, etc. You want to click files. OK. And I really hope you guys can see this. I know it's a bit blurry and we are slow this morning. There we go. Right. So um let me try and zoom in a little bit give me a sec there we go right so this is the one we want this is smappy 4.0.8 and it says here for stardew valley 1.6.4 or later so this is the up-to-date stardew valley at the moment so you want to click manual download okay My thing won't work for some reason. It's very slow this morning, guys. I apologise. Right, we're back. Okay, uh, for some reason, Google Chrome was not working, so I opened Firefox. So if you happen to have Google Chrome and you go through that one, try Firefox or one of the others, okay? For some reason, it was just not working. Um, so you make an account, as you see, I'm logged in, right? And then you want to click slow download because this one's free. Um, and here you go, I'll show you. And then we'll just start the download. Um, obviously, I've already got this downloaded, so I don't need to go for all of this. It's going to download. And as you can see here, it is going super quick. So you, you don't have to pay. You don't need to pay for anything. You can do it all free. OK, but you can donate to the creators of the mods if you want to. OK, so once you've downloaded Smappy, um and you save it so i saved it here as you can see here okay um so you want to extract the smappy folder when you get it um and then it will appear here okay so here it is in my downloads and it's been um i've extracted it as you can see because it's not a yellow one it's now a blue one okay um and then the next thing you want to do is come here to steam open steam Okay, let me full screen this for you. Go to your library. Okay, right. And you want to search, or depending on how many games you have, you might just be able to find it straight away. But you want to find your Stardew Valley game. Okay, so here it is. Right, and you want to come over here and click this uh, manage icon. Um, click properties, and then you want to click here on installed files. Okay, and you want this one that says browse here at the top. So you click that 
and that is going to open your Stardew Valley folder. Okay, so when you get this folder open, once you've extracted Swappy, you want to put it in. So um, put it in, just um, right click here, paste one folder and pop it in. Okay, and it will appear here. Right. So once you've done that and you've um, opened Swappy and I will show you at the end how to run Swappy. It's just a bit easier to show you then. Okay. You then want to go into mods. Okay, and here you go. This is all the mods I've installed currently for Stardew Valley. Right, now then, um, as you can see, I have quite a few. And so there's a few things that I want to say while we're here, okay? Is uh, the more mods that you install, the slower your game's going to run and the slower it will be to open, etc. So that is something you need to be aware of, okay? Is the more you download, the slower it will be. Not all mods will work together, okay? Um, as I found, because yesterday I was trying to install, if I can find it, I'll show you. Uh, Welcome to Mineral Town, I found, and I wanted to play that one. I installed it, but it hasn't been working, okay? Um, for the beginning, I recommend getting, I know it's very blurry, guys, and I apologise, but I recommend getting this one, which is Stardew Valley Expanded, okay? So this is, I would say, one of the first mods people use, okay? So up here in the search you want to click, have search mods okay see here okay and what you want to do is put in stardew valley and it will pop up stardew valley expanded okay so you want to click on that and this is it so this is um i would say um the best mod to start with um this one and also uh skip fishing mini game um, is one a popular one that we all have, or <laughs> most of us have, and that one basically, as the name suggests, allows you to just instantly catch fish, um, which for me at the moment, completing the community centre and trying to get lots of um, hearts with everyone, that has been a godsend, it's brilliant. Um, I know people see it as a bit cheating, but, you know, play the game how you want to play. Right, so this is Stardew Valley Expanded, as you can see here, okay, so you want to go to Files, okay, and um let's have a look this is the pc one yep so this is uh the most recent one as you can see here and it will also i don't know if this is because i'm logged in but um it will actually give you some options of things to play with it so this is a uh, recommended farm to play with stardew valley expanded is grandpa's farm which i actually have and i will show you um, at the end what that one looks like so again just want to click manual download right and it will tell you um, some bits that you need to get this mod to run. So this one is saying you need the content patcher, farm type manager and smappy. Okay. So what you do is if you do not have these, so if this is your first download, so you've already got smappy because you just did that. So you'll need to do these other two. So all you do is you just click on it. It'll bring you to that one, uh, that one's page. And again, you just do the same thing. You just hit manual download. It will tell you what you need. You will click download. It will download up here and then when it has downloaded you can over here come back to loading up your mods okay so you'll go to your downloads okay and you will um look for your thing let me find one i'll just go with this one so the bus locations okay um so you will just the, mod, the download that you just did, you will find it in here. You will click extract. You will click extract archive here. Okay. And as you can see, I've already got it all. But what you will do is it will just automatically download for you. Okay. And then when you've got it, it will appear up here. Okay. So as you can see here, bus locations. It's the one I've chosen. Okay. You'll click it. You'll click cut. You will then go into mods here there we go and you will simply right click and click paste one folder and it will paste it there okay and you just do that for all the mods you want to download um and then when you have done all that and you've got the mods that you wanted so say you just did um the stardew expanded and then maybe grandpa's farm so once you've done that to get it to run you are going to head to um, Smappy folder, and I've put mine here on my desktop because it's very easy for me to find. Makes it easy for the video. Right. Now then, it's got these different um, install ones, okay? So we've got install on Linux. 
Okay, and so what you want to do is um, right click it and then you want to go all the way down to this one that says run in console with a cap with a K instead of a C. Okay, click that. Right now then um, you just need to go through what it asks you to do here. Okay, so I will say don't click one for this first question. Click two because one doesn't work. So two. OK, right. Where do you want to add or remove Smappy? So number one is the one we want to do, and this is going to put it into the Stardew Valley Steam application. So you want to hit type in one and hit enter. OK, and then you want to put one again, which is install Smappy and hit enter. And it's going to do it all. And then it's going to tell you to launch your game. Um, now, I would just say, I probably should have said this a bit earlier, I am doing this with a mouse and keyboard connected to my Steam Deck through my dock. Um, as you can see, we are we are on my cheap dock, which I will link in the description for you. Um, it's one of the easiest ways I've found to do this because trying to work out how to do like right clicking and on screen, um, having the keyboard up on the screen, it, it was very difficult for me and I struggled. You're welcome to try it, but I do recommend if you're going to do things like this a lot, and there are a lot of games that you want to add mods for, I do recommend trying to find a cheap dock because it doesn't have to be the Steam branded dock. Um, and this one I think I picked up for like eleven pounds. It was not it was not expensive at all. So once we've done all that, and um, Smappy has told you that it's um, done and it's fine, it says here Smappy is installed. Launch the game the same way as before to play with mods. Okay. So what you do now is minimize that go over here click return to gaming mode okay and it's going to shut down steam on this mode and it's going to take us back to our desktop mode so i will show you through the whole process it takes a little bit of a while but i'll show you my startup screen as well while we're here so but it's a bit slow today because it's early morning and she doesn't want to work <laughs> we're having one of those mornings <laughs> but I just wanted to make this video because I was hoping it would be help people understand how to do this because I know it feels quite overwhelming. So this is my startup screen. It's my little Zelda one. So Link found his Steam Deck. <laughs> okay, and then we're going to be back in desktop mode. So here we are. Right. So I'm going to now come in with my controller instead. Right. So Sardu Valley. Okay. Click play. Okay. And how you're going to know this has worked is this will pop up. So this is Smappy. And this is Smappy loading all of your mods in. Um, and it's really good because it will tell you if there are any mods that need an update. Um, if there are some mods that aren't working correctly. Or if you did not if you did not install everything that was needed. Um, it will tell you. It will come up red saying this doesn't work. So a couple of mine here as you can see have updated versions I need to download. So I'll need to do that. <laughs> um, but this is how you know it worked. Um... And as long as you click running console, as I showed you, and get it all set up, um, do that after. So if you install two mods and you play the game with those mods and you're fine um, and then you want to add some more mods, um, always do that running console thing after downloading new mods because it won't always work. So here we are. As you can see, you can already see my mods are working because the game looks different. So here we are. So. As you can see, mine looks a bit different. So this is how you know the mods are working. And I'll just take you to the farm and I'll show you what kind of things we've got going on. As I said, some of my mods aren't actually working. Um, and as you will see here, I will let this play. Um, it is loading. It takes ages because of how many mods I have. And that is something you do need to understand is the more mods you have, the more slow it's going to work. Um, and I would just say in the beginning, don't go crazy. You know, be very careful with how many mods you input because you don't want to overwhelm yourself as well because there are lots of mods, there are lots of expansions you can get. Um, I would say Stardew Valley Expanded, maybe just start with that one, maybe even add the Skip Fishing mini game one. Um, as I said, a lot of us use that one and no shame because fishing in this game is super difficult and it, it, it makes me hate the game, it's very stressful for me. So <laughs> it's what I use and that's my tease and I'm sticking with it. <laughs> But as you can see, yeah, we've been sitting here for a while and it's still not loaded yet. So, yes, bear in mind that if you're going to do this, you, you, you're you going to be sat here a while. Um, but it's not breaking the game. It's just loading so much in that it's trying to do it. Um, so, again, do be careful if you want to put loads and loads and loads. <laughs> 
here we go game's slowly coming in there we are so here we are um so you're not actually going to see it inside but let's pop outside and we are in winter so that's always fun but so my house is different okay and i am on um grandpa's farm so there's a lot of trees on this um mod and also it comes with two fenced areas so i've got my coop here and as you can see so this is the um is this the way back when yeah the way back when um mod makes all the buildings look older um and it will also show you i will show you in a minute but it's also in town um so this is grandpa's farm uh, we've got cows pigs and etc down here you've got loads of trees i need to do some clearing again because it's getting overrun over here you will have um your uh greenhouse over here so obviously it's different in the base game and as you can see this is the greenhouse amazing thing to unlock um and i can show you my map in a second there we go so farm uh greenhouse um desert up there um and the mines have moved in this one they're a bit further along i've got east scarp added in and ridgeside which um, is up there okay so i'm gonna um show you guys when i get to town and show you what town looks like Okay, here we are. So, there we go. I'll show you. Open soon. Um, so this is uh, with the mod, as I said, all the buildings look older. It's a bit more difficult to show you in winter because it's got snow on it, but the houses are different. Um, so like here's Lewis's house. Um, yeah, and obviously it's the most beautiful time is the winter. I love winter in this game. Um, so like, you know, down here is different, uh, the houses are different, they're all nice and looking. Um, but like you saw, I've got a lot of mods installed. Um, I will show you one of my favourite mods is Dusty. <laughs> so you can go into the dog here where normally you would just walk past and it would bark. You can actually go um, pat them on the head. It's very cute. Yeah, so that's mods installed. Um, as I said, I just wanted to show you guys how to do this because... It was so overwhelming for me the first time that I did it and I was very confused and it took me hours to do it. And we've only been going for almost 18 minutes, so much easier, quick way of doing it. I hope this video has helped someone. Um, you know, it's it's easy to get overwhelmed the first time, especially if you're new to Steam Deck. I apparently am in the way. Um, so, yeah, I hope this video has helped someone. Um, if you've enjoyed the video, I hope you um, hit the like button and subscribe. Um, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. So bye for now.